We're gathered here today to celebrate the life of Olivia Jessica Peterson, a bright soul loved by many and taken too soon in tragedy. What? I think it's time for you to get up, sleepyhead. I don't want to. Oh, come on, you're wasting the day. Last day of the weekend, school's tomorrow. You don't want to waste the whole day. Maybe I want to lie in. Rox, it's gone ten. This is more than enough of a lie-in for you. Fine. I'll get up. Will you stop being angry at me? I'm not. Yeah, you are. I can't help being dead. I know that. And stop blaming me for it. I don't! Let's stop fighting, please. Okay. How was the funeral? Didn't you go? Well, I went for a bit, but it was all a bit depressing. Anyway, I wanted your perspective. It was a funeral. They're not meant to be fun. Mm, I suppose. It wasn't even a real funeral. The police won't release your body as they need it for evidence or something. Right. So, what are we doing today? Well, I don't really have any plans and there's not much we can do together since you're dead and all. <laughs> True. I have a plan. What? Let's solve my murder! No thanks. Oh, come on, it'll be fun! We'll be like Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. I'm not sure. Oh, well, we will! You just want me to talk to Detective Wolf, don't you? Maybe. <laughs> I don't get a choice, do I? No. Come on, Nancy Drew. Let's go solve some crimes. Okay, fine, but at least pick one detective and stick to it. <laughs> There's too much to process right now Just have to find a way to keep going Just have to find a way to stay focused Take my mind off what's happening Off this what's with all these secrets These as your misunderstandings Why do we have so many secrets? But I was deceived Blindly believed they call me ghost, ghost. I'm not good with words. No one truly comprehends the burden. Freezing deep grief from all their sins. Call me ghost, ghost. Oh, it's a curse world. Cause even What a pasta fell in your lap. Oh, ew. Worst food fight ever, like. It ruined my skirt. So you're cheering up already, though? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting used to you still being around. Even if you're not. actually around. Yeah. So, shall we start making a list of suspects for my murder? Uh, are you sure? There's, like, way funner things we can do. Yeah, it'll be exciting. Uh, how can you be so chipper for a dead girl? Okay, let's solve the crime. Do you have a notebook? Will a phone do? That'll do. Okay, so, who at the party might want to kill you? Mimi. She hates me. For apparently no reason. Yep, going on the top of the list. Next. Well, how about uh, Nathan? Because, you know, history. And the fact he's a complete creep. Yeah. Definitely going on the list. Okay, who else? I just don't know who else would want to kill me. I mean, we hardly speak to anyone other than Kale. Jake. What? You guys had a massive argument that night. It wasn't massive. He looked pretty pissed off afterwards. It was a silly row, that's all it was, Rusk. Well, I'm the one holding the phone and I'm alive, so I say it's going on the list. What list? Oh. Oh, Detective Wolf! Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm just out for a walk. And you? Uh, clearing my head. Did I hear you talking to someone? You have no idea. Shh, Liv. Sorry? Uh, 
Would you believe me if I said I was talking to Liv? Okay, uh, sorry I asked. What have you got there? Uh, just a phone. Are you making a suspect list? Yep, no. I'm a detective, Miss Moore. I can tell when you're lying. Oh, that's hard. Fine. You caught me. But there's... There's no harm in making a list, is there? Well, it's not illegal. Actually, I wasn't just out for a walk. I was coming to find you. You were? Ooh, Detective Dreamy and Ghost Girl. Behind the team. I bet he's going to ask you for help. Um, well, actually, I was just going to ask for your help. See? Told you. <laughs> and how exactly can I help you, Detective Wolf? Uh, you've clearly made it clear that you think I'm crazy. Oh, okay. Chill out on the flirting technique, rocks. Whether you can talk to the dead or not, you knew the victim better than anyone. Oh, I'm just victim now. Rude. Please who use her name. Why? Is she listening? Again, sorry I asked. You knew Olivia best. You two were friends for years. And everyone says that I should speak to you. I'm flattered, but no thanks. Whoa there, Nancy Drew. What do you think you're doing? I'm thinking that... Last week he told me to see a psych, and now he wants my help. Who do you think is the crazy one here? Look, sorry if I offended you last week at the station. It wasn't my intention. See? Wasn't his intention did scoff at me and tell me to seek mental help. Well, it's not every day that someone claims her friend is stood behind you, Miss Moore. Well, actually it does happen quite a lot, but usually because they want you to look the other way. Please, I need your help, Miss Moore. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Fine, but just to shut up, Liv. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, thanks. That's it. Detective Dreamy and Ghost Girl going on ventures together. Oh! I'm delighted. Ugh. Is there something I should know? Probably not. Let's go. And where are we going? Ugh, Annie's Cafe. I need coffee. Three yeah, drinks. <laughs> I can't drink that, hun. Ugh. Oh, force of habit. Still feels like she's here. Okay, well, this is the file I have on the case at the moment. Spitting. Exactly. So, where should we start? Who do you have on your list? Well, we have a few people. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming we means Olivia. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay, so the top of our list is Mimi. Mimi Alpin. The one and only. Top of my list of suspects. And why is she so high up on the list? <sighs> Mimi's hated Liv and I for years. No idea why. Is it enough to kill someone? I don't know. I mean, we used to be really good friends. But Liv says that her and Mimi used to be really good friends. This is still weird. What does Liv happen to say about them stop being friends? Liv? Well, we were all good, and then there was that stupid argument over that leaked photo. Oh yeah, the photo! Photo? Well, three years ago, um, this photo of Mimi got leaked to the whole school. Everyone saw it. And what did this photo depict? Um, Here's the awkward part. It was Mimi uh, with a boy in a intimate position. I see. What's Olivia Peterson's involvement in this? Well, nothing really. And that sounds like the opposite. Like, what? What did you do then? No, I really didn't do anything. It wasn't me. What happened to Mimi was an accident. I can't believe I'm asking this, but is she saying anything? She's being a little cryptic. I think it'd be better if we talk to Mimi. She's a gossip, so she'll talk easy. Right, so 
where do we find Miss Alpin then? Give me a minute. Can we help you? Where is Mimi? Why would we tell you? Uh, cause I'm not the one who's asking. Technically you are. And we don't trust you. Why not? Because you were friends with that little Becky. bit- Becky! Dory. She's dead. Uh, oh wow, you're so subtle. I don't know what Liv and I ever did to upset you bimbos. Maybe don't call us bimbos for a start. Look, that detective wants to find out who murdered a teenager. My friend, your classmate. She was murdered. Do I have to spell it out? Fine. She's doing yoga in the hall. Thank you. That wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, freak. You don't seem so cut up about Olivia. I know a really good counsellor, if you want it. I'm good, thanks. What was that? Uh, call it information gathering. Mimi is doing yoga at the town hall. And the bit at the end? Just bitches being bitches. <laughs> I will never understand the goings on in a girl's head. That makes us both. So, are we going to go visit Mimi? Perhaps I should go alone. No, 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 this is your chance to get to know Detective Dreamy better. And, you know, the investigation. Maybe I should come along. Uh, you've helped a lot today, Miss Moore. I don't want to push it. I have nothing better to do anyways. <laughs> Fine, just this once. Oh, great. Also, call me Roxy. Miss Small feels a bit too formal. Oh, now that's good flirting technique, Roxy. Okay, Roxy, it is then. Come on. Say something. Anything. Stop being so awkward. So, um, you've been in the area long? Oh, God. Well, just a few weeks. Oh, so you, you're new? You could say that, fresh off the boat. So, why did you come here? Well, something drew me to this place. Come here and fell in love with it. Needed a new beginning and to meet new people, so here I am. As one As life one exits, exits, another must enter. Sorry, probably pretty boring. Nah, you're good. Anyway, we should get going. Yes. <laughs> here she is. She's there. Ice cream herself. Miss Alpin. <clears throat> Mimi Alpin. What? Can't you see it? Oh, detective. Yes, detective. And why is she here? What a bitch. She's helping me on the case of Olivia Peterson. A uh, consulting of sorts. Both freak still, so it makes sense. Make freak still? Girl, I'm dead. You don't speak very highly of Olivia Peterson. She may be dead, but that doesn't excuse what she did. I didn't do anything. And um, what did she do? Do you really not like her? All I know is that you were friends and then you weren't. I use the word friends loosely when talking about Olivia. If you can't figure it out, I'm not telling you. 
I'm afraid that we'll be obstructing the course of justice. And I'm fairly certain that obstructing the course of justice is illegal. I deserve some privacy, seeing as your mate destroyed that. It wasn't her. Liv showed me how shit the world can really be. She betrayed me. I know you threatened to kill her. You think I'd kill her? That was years ago. You still seem pretty woken up about it, I must say. Fine. We were friends. Then rumour got around that Jake fancied one of us. We agreed we wouldn't do anything to sway his feelings. Then she leaked a photo of me with some guy to give me that slut of the school reputation and I still have the reputation. It wasn't her. Do you know that 100%? Do you have proof? No, I... I have nothing left to say about Olivia Peterson, other than she's a backstabbing bitch who got what she deserved. Hashtag karma. Now, I have places to be. I'm not done yet, Miss Alvin. Well, I am. Fine, you can go. But before you go, I need your phone. What? You can't. Actually, I can. Ha! A warrant. That'll teach you to speak ill of the dead. We need to go through all the footage of the party to check people's whereabouts, etc. This is a total invasion of privacy. They are my photos. Why? Are you worried someone might find another saucy pin? Roxy! Roxy. No, Roxanne. I'm not worried. Here, have it. Good luck trying to find something. Thank you, Miss Alpin. I may need to be in touch again for more questions. You probably won't. What a horror. So much for easy gossip. <laughs> you could have been a little more cooler on her. Me? Yes. If you're going to tag along, you need to be at least civil with the suspects. You invited me along, Rox. Chill. No, you invited yourself, remember? You're obviously too close to this. I should have known better. Say something. Wait, wait, um, I, look, I have history with Mimi. There's going to be history with all your suspects, Roxy. They're your friends, your classmates, and people you grew up with. I know, I know, I get it, but I'll control myself. Please let me help. Fine. But one more chance, okay? Deal. What? Somebody's changed their tune. I thought you weren't going to get involved in this case. Well, uh, I didn't want to, but now I do. Why? It hasn't got anything to do with Detective Dreamy. No, and don't call him that. No, it's, it's because he's right. I'm too invested in this. Okay. Someone murdered my best friend, and I intend to find out who it was. It may not feel like you're gone yet, but it won't be like this forever. Yeah, it will. I'll always be around haunting your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? How could you? Mimi? Why? Why? You posted it. Why would you post it? Posted what? This! Oh shit. Oh shit. How could you? How could you? You did this to me on I purpose. I swear How could I didn't. You? Mimi, wait! Liv? This photo is everywhere, Liv. Did you post it? I didn't, I didn't know, I swear I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Mimi, Mimi, wait! Mimi, Mimi, wait! How could you do this to me? I didn't, I didn't post it. Sure you didn't. Have you seen the comments? Mimi Alpin is such a slut. I always knew she had a dark side. Mimi's such a freak. You could tell by her prosy name. Mimi. No. How could you? I just put you on Jake to choose you. I didn't. 
You have to listen to me. I did post it. I'm your friend. No, no, you're not my friend, and you never will be. You're just a stupid little freak who I took pity on. You stay away from me, or I will end your life. So, who posted the photo then? We never found out. But it wasn't me. She says it wasn't her. Okay, so does this ghost Olivia happen to know who it was? Firstly, I'm a spirit, not a ghost. You do. I can't say that. Huh? She says you should call her a spirit, not a ghost. It's disrespectful. Okay. Secondly, it could be anyone who's good with computers. Literally anybody. It was made from an anonymous fake account and Mimi thought I'd done it. Basically, she doesn't know. It came from an airtight fake account and we never really found out who it was. Okay, does she know who was in the photo? Oh, God. What? You're really not going to like it. Why? Who was it? Oh, I'm not 100%, but I think it was Adrian. Adrian! Adrian Castell? Yep. Yeah, him. And would he have leaked the photo? No. No, he's a nice guy. He keeps his private life private. I have to go. Okay. See you soon? Yeah, sure. school tomorrow. You should sleep. I can't. Don't let it get to you. Adrian, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Oh, come on, Rox, I know you. This case of your murder is going to change everything. What do you mean? Everyone has secrets and they're all going to come out. Do you have secrets? Even if I say no, there's probably something hiding in the closet. There are things I don't want people to know. Even me? Even you, Liv. I'm sure you have secrets. I'm sure I do. But are you ready for everyone to know them? There's too much to process right now Just have to find a way to keep going Just have to find a way to stay focused Take my mind off what's happening Off this what's with all these secrets These as your misunderstandings Why do we have so many secrets? But I was deceived, blindly believed They call me ghost, ghost I'm not good with words No one truly comprehends the burden Freezing deep grief We were in love sins. Call me ghost, ghost It was a mistake, right? Suddenly turn into foes And doubt deepens the more mystery unravels And questions creep and the more answers travel My mind can't decide who's right What's with all these secrets These as your misunderstandings Why do we have so many secrets? But I was deceived, blindly believed They call me ghost, ghost I'm not good